The Tribal Empowerment Library is housed within the Tribal Empowerment Department. So we try to implement and bring in services that we know our community needs to be successful either in school or in their career. You know, we want to provide the equity to all tribal members here in the community. So that way we can keep our culture live and rich and we want them to grow up with these traditions. The library has impacted a huge part of my life and it had made me realize how important it is to accept who I am and be proud of it as well. We do a lot of activities here that have to do with our Native American ways. It is very important to me. The single most empowering aspect is the teaching of the language to our youth. Today I'm going to read a, a book. All right, it's in Tigua. It's in your native language. It exposes them to the world views of their ancestors that is only passed on through language. Te'e yanthu turkumku pahupe himai. Grandfather, is today a good day for us to make bread? We host a series of language classes at the cultural center. How do we see belt? Nak. Nakwe. So what are the boys use again? Wahes. Wahes. What do the girls use to dance? Mockers. So with the younger kids, we just try to speak to them. Just speak to them. Get them to hear the sounds. You know, mom kima. You know, mom kima, eh? Horti shuru. Uh huh. Kaive. Kaive. Good. They say something like every two minutes a, a, a language is lost, you know, and it's, it's scary to think that. You know, and we were we were pretty much on the brink of having the language fall asleep again. So we figure if we teach the young kids not just not only just the word, but the spiritual I guess the spiritual significance of the word, then it then it'll it'll bring power back to 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 the language. Okay, so what we have right here is the Taikitiwa reference section. We also have the Taikitiwa dictionary. These are available for the tribal members to check out and start practicing the Tigua language. Besides the books that we have for checkout, the media, the computers for them to check out, we do the cultural portion, we, we have them do the social dances. So the students that put on the performance out there for social dances are the same students participating at the local schools doing social dances for Tigua Day at their schools. I'm coming here to our tribal library. It's one of our greatest assets being within the boundaries of the reservation. You know, as you hear the drum beating, that's the, the heartbeat of our people, our, our youth, are the continuing legacy of our people. We bring both worlds and bring them both together. And that's, that's what empowers our youth to really strive forward and um, keep, keep going with our culture and traditions that, that keep them, keeps them moving forward. Ideas powered. It's what we do.